Well, Susan Lindau is a journalist and author specializing on American intervention. She's joining us now from Washington, D.C. Very good evening to you from Moscow. Uh, the CIA is reported to be out there already, isn't it? Getting reconnaissance and crucially helping to train the opposition troops. Now, how does that all tie in with the original goal of humanitarian efforts then? Well, I have never believed this was a humanitarian endeavor. Uh, I was also the U.S. asset covering Libya at the United Nations for nine years from 1995 until 2003. And I know these people very well. Um, Gaddafi will never step down. He's a fighter to the end. Uh, and it, it seems extraordinary that uh, the losing oppos the, the, the opposition forces, while they are losing the war, would try to dictate the terms of surrender to the party that's winning, which is Gaddafi. Once again, we see that the United Nations is on the wrong side of the conflict. What do you make of these negotiations we're hearing about uh, maybe in Britain that he's maybe trying to negotiate some uh, early settlement so that he can go quietly? Do you think there's any mileage in that then? I, I do not think Gaddafi will step down. I think Gaddafi will stay and he will fight. And I think that, again, the United Nations has uh, jumped into this conflict before they, before un they understood who they were teaming up with. They did not understand anything about this opposition force. Uh, the opposition force is not a uh, highly motive. Uh, they, they may be passionate in their politics, but they are not highly organized on the battlefield. Uh, essentially, you're going to have to have a ground war to remove Gaddafi. Okay, I'm taking what you're saying there, Susan, but well, why would you go into this blindly then? I'm sorry? I take in what you're saying there, but, but why would the coalition forces go into this blindly without of having thought it through, as you say? <laughs> That's, it, 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 this was very badly done. Uh, I will tell you that because of, because of my knowledge of the Lockerbie issue, last summer uh, we began to hear some very interesting gossip about Gaddafi. We began to hear that Gaddafi was pressuring U.S. and possibly British oil companies, and it may also extend to French and Italian oil companies, all right? And Gaddafi was pressuring U.S. oil companies to reimburse Libya for the cost, for the payments uh, to the families of Pan Am 103. You see, there is this, this very important detail that, that Libya had nothing to do with Lockerbie. And, uh, the, and, and the United Nations had imposed sanctions on Libya and forced Libya to pay damages to the families, $2.7 billion. And they had wrecked Libya's economy with sanctions. And now, last summer, we began to hear that Gaddafi was pushing the oil companies for reimbursements of the costs to the Libyans. So you're saying that's and what triggered believe, this now, are you? Yes, yes, I do believe that. It's very significant, I believe, that in October, Chevron and Occidental Petroleum pulled out of Libya. Okay, now, uh, Italy, France, uh, the, uh, Britain, and China, Germany, all those countries are still in Libya. Okay, those countries are still there, but the United States pulled out, and I believe that uh, the, at that point the United States began to think that there, they needed to do something to remove Gaddafi because he was going to continue to demand uh, behind the scenes, he was going to demand that, that uh, Libya receive compensation for the sanctions that they suffered wrongfully for 12 years. Interesting theory. And it's a, it's a lesson. Susan, I wanted to it's ask a, you... It's a lesson because... I wanted to ask you one other point, taking everything you're saying there. I mean, I, I just wanted to ask you about what's going on the ground and your thoughts about what's actually happening now as well. Uh, let, let's bring it up to date. There's been further confirmation today of civilian deaths uh, as a result of those coalition strikes in Libya. Let's imagine every detail of this operation is eventually made public, just like we saw with Afghanistan and the Iraq WikiLeaks. Do you think that might make the same explosive reading if that ever happens? Uh, absolutely. I think that uh, uh, you don't bomb a village in order to save it. Uh, I think it's a tragedy. This war is wrong. Uh, it is a war for oil and 
to take Libya's resources. Um, I, I, it's, it, they've already created a new national bank. That's outrageous. Uh, clearly, this has been on the drawing board for a long time, and these people have no trouble, uh, no mercy for the Libyan people. Anyone who cared about the Libyan people would stop immediately. All right, so Susan Linda, thanks for being on the program. Interesting to have your views. Uh, journalist and author, as you are, joining us from Washington, D.C.